guys are taking a look as well at the defensive efficiency numbers. The start of last season was a strong one, but then they seem to fall off after those first 20 games this season. Through the first 20, they're sitting in fourth again. Yeah, I like their defense. I mean, they have a bunch of guys that are very aware. Again, a lot of same size guys that can switch, which gives you, you know, a big advantage. But I like their defense. Well, for more on the team this season, we welcome in Nuggets analyst Scott Hastings. Scott, the team's won three in a row, again, after losing six out of seven. What do you see as the reason, perhaps, for a bit of inconsistency through these first 20 games? Uh, I don't know. I, I think through the first 20, 25 games, you're still trying to always kind of figure yourself out, especially or unless you're maybe the champion. Maybe you know who you are, but uh, I'm not sure Golden State does this year. Um, and, and so they, they've tried to put in a mixture, as Kevin was just saying, more defense this year, uh, try to sustain it. Uh, they did it early last year, couldn't, uh, couldn't do it for 82 games. So I think there's been a real focus on that. Uh, I, you, you lose Will Barton, which has been an offensive thing. I, I go back at some of the games that they've lost this year. Uh, they, they were inefficient late. They couldn't execute late in games, and it was their offense that actually left them. The defense has given them a chance to be and, and really kind of win all games. I think they're the only team that hasn't been blown out by more than 10 points this year. They've been in every single game, probably could have won at least five of the seven that they've lost and, and had the lead in five, four or five of them with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. So they're still figuring themselves out. They're a young team, second youngest team. Uh, they're still looking for a Grand Hill type or, or a Kevin and Mikhail type. Somebody's going to take him by the, by the bootstraps and say, you know, well, you know what? I, I, I'd sign either one of them cats for a 10-day right now. But, but they, they need some leadership, and that's what I think they're looking for right now. And yeah, Speaking of leadership, uh, how's Paul Millsap, now that he's healthy and you know, he missed a lot, a big part of last year, how's he fitting in with that leadership role and just kind of them depending on him? Because he seems to me to just be a rock out there. does a lot of the really good stuff every single night. Yeah, he, he is a rock. That's exactly what he is. I don't know if he's a super vocal guy or anything like that, but you know it night in, night out. He's going to come in and do your job. You guys have been proud of him the other night. They, they get a big win in Minnesota. He, he kept, uh, it catches an elbow from Towns, has to go out of the game, comes back with five stitches across his forehead and plays. Uh, we've seen a few people here in the last few years. Eh, they might have missed a week, you know, with, with five <laughs> stitches in their head. And, and, and he missed, you know, eight minutes of playing time, came back back in and hit a big shot in the fourth quarter. So uh, he, he is, that, that's a perfect example exactly what he is. He's, he is your prototypical uh, a lead by example guy. Always stoic, never too high, never too low. You know, doesn't beat himself up, to, up after bad games. Is not popping champagne after a good game. Uh, and, and he's one of those guy, types that they needed on this team. Hey Scott, you talked about this being the second youngest team in the NBA, but when you watch them play for a young team, they really seem to enjoy playing for and with one another. Just just talk about uh, the spirit that you see in that locker room that we certainly see on TV when we see them play. They were in Oklahoma City. I'm going to give you a, a prime example. I actually, was, they were playing the Orlando game on on uh, last Friday, and it was kind of a laugher of a game. They they took care of Orlando pretty well, and, and Thomas Welch gets in a, a, a rookie uh, drafted out of UCLA this year. He's a two way player with him. He's up. He gets in. Uh, he hits his, his first baskets as an NBA player, hits a three, gets a dunk a little bit later. And every single guy on the bench, all the starters, uh, Will Barton, who's in a suit over there, uh, uh, Porter Jr., uh, uh, all the other guys, Vanderbilt, that all these guys are still injured, Isaiah Thomas. The whole bench went up and, and were cheering for him as if it were that happened in the first five minutes of a game. Uh, and you guys have been on great teams, and you guys are great, great players. But it, it, it's those teams that the stars can still celebrate good moments of the 10th, 11th, 12th guys, I think makes teams special. So to me, I, I, I was watching that, and I said, you know what? Not, not everybody does that. Not every team uh, will have something like that. So that's kind of their makeup. I, you know, I think they need a little bit of a butthead, to be honest with you. One of those guys will get in there and, and kind of rough people up but they're they're great guys and and they're competitive with each other and I think I think they got a good a good formula going on here in Denver so what they need is a guy like you um, <laughs> but then, <laughs> hey, 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 being a butthead got me 11 years man <laughs> I'm with you. Now you talked about getting hit in the head how about our buddy Joe Klein Melody Melody all head and no body more head, more if he body. got <laughs>
<laughs> if he, he got hit in the head every play. Like, so. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, the new Molotti's got to be Nurkic, Joe, I think, because yeah. he seems to get hit in the head every game, too. Molotti couldn't help it. Some people thought he was a backboard every once in a while. <laughs> oh, now he's sitting there cooking dinner down at Corky's in Little Rock. He's going to be mad at you, by the way. I know, I know. I need to get Corky's get some of Joe's good food. Yeah, that's right. Great barbecue. That was the perfect place to end this, Scott. Thank you so much for taking the Anytime, time. Guys. You guys can catch right. Scott on the uh, Denver Nuggets broadcast as the team hosts the Lakers at 9 Eastern right here. Good seeing you, Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get that 10 day for me, buddy. Goodness. All right, so the Nuggets perhaps need a butthead. Uh, do you agree, though, that they need the kind of guy that's going to go in there and perhaps get this team riled up a little bit when they're hitting those lulls? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a young group of guys. And once you take ownership, one of those guys will turn into the, the butthead. Because what <laughs> happens is once you take ownership of your team, it's your team. It's really important to you. I always said there's two type teams. There's a rent a car team, you know, and they throw the wrappers in the back and they turn the car in. They don't care about it. And then there's the guys that own the car and they take really good care of it. You know, all these young uh, players and the Nuggets are going to start owning this thing because they've got a nice future. And all of a sudden they're going to start saying, hey, man, we're special. And then you come into my house and you start messing with me, I'm taking you out. Or you walk up and say, you're going to do that to Jokic. If you do that to Jokic, you do it to me. So they, they will find inside of that, they'll find that personality. That's why I love young teens, because when they gel when you're young, you can hold that together for a long period of time. There's something about that, just young guys gelling together and becoming a team and fighting together. I, 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 like, I like watching this team. Yeah, I agree. You have to be careful if you insert a, a, a a butthead, mm -hmm. as, as uh -huh. Hastings said, into the We've mix. We've got to be setting a record for the number of times <laughs> butthead has been set on TV tonight. No question. But I, I do like this team, and I like, you know, obviously the, the play of Jamal Murray and how he's played as yeah. of late. And the chemistry that he seems to really have developed with Jokic. You know, a guy who uh, could obviously shoot the ball, but he's come in and scored and, you know, putting the ball on the floor, creating shots, uh, you know, really just stepped up his play, and you know, from his, from his year last year. And... Uh, uh, you know, is, is, is in large part why they're, why they're playing so well. But, you know, I agree. A personality will emer emerge. Yep. A voice will emerge. It doesn't have to be a butthead, but a voice that, um, you know, that, that you everyone can't say it respects. without giggling, can you? Look, it's like he's in fifth grade <laughs> Wait, all over again. about butthead? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but, no, I mean, that, that will happen. And I, and I do like, like Paul Millsap. You know, he yep. talked about him being, he's a quiet guy. He leads by example, but he's not an overly vocal guy. And I, I think that for where they are right now is probably the perfect kind of fit, perfect personality to blend in with those young, young, young players. Coach, we were also talking about their defensive efficiency through the first 20 games last season, how they fell off mm -hmm. after those first 20. But they're sitting in the top four in the league right now through these first 20 games. Scott briefly addressed it, but what's working so well for this Nuggets team defensively? Great effort. They are giving good effort every single night. Those guys are out there getting back on defense. They're aware of what's going on, but they're helping each other. And they're, they're all rallying to the ball which is huge. You know, you've got to get to the ball. You're going to see uh, right here that, look at, look at, he comes in from the weak side. That's Millsap all the way from the far corner coming in and getting a steal. And, of course, what happens with that, you're off to the races. And he also outruns everybody and tips it in. But, again, you know, right here, this is just effort. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough guy, Westbrook. You just run down, you get in front of him, your hands are up. That's just putting the effort to get in front of a guy. I can't tell you how many guys in our league wouldn't put that effort in yeah. to catch him. And now again, you've got to rally to the ball. Look at look at look at look at this now. Everybody sees it. You come over, you go up big, the guy comes from behind, they don't stay out, of, they don't stay out of the play, they get back into the play. And again, you've got to rally to the ball in this league. There's two on the ball right now, it starts sliding. What happens? You gotta come over and look at look at the effort that they're putting into it. Help and recover, the, helping the helper. But in the in the NBA, you always have to have eyes on the ball. And if Grant beats his guy, I I've got to come over, and I've got to come over with full knowledge that someone else is covering up my guy. And it just takes effort. But there's an awareness factor. I'm really impressed with their effort and their awareness, but their effort stands out. Like I said, the one, the one play with Westbrook. Westbrook's going full out down the floor. Do you know how many guys would have stood, you know, got behind him and went like, huh, yeah. that guy's really fast. <laughs> I mean, 99%. That guy ran out, out, ran, outran him, got in front, and got a steal. I mean, he says the best. Look, a lot of this stuff you can't orchestrate as a coach. You yeah. have philosophy, you have principles, things you want to accomplish. But at the end of the day, you have to have a commitment from the guys on the court. And a lot of those plays, that one play you, you, you just discussed about Westbrook, that's just, you know what, I'm not going to let him score. I'm yeah. going to sprint back and force a turnover. And so to be a young team 
and to have it click is scary. Yeah. Because you, usually you, it takes a veteran team to sort of figure it out. And so this team has a lot of runway in front of it. And I think the, the best is yet to come if they can, you know, if they can handle success and stay healthy and keep that core together. But it's been very, very impressive what they've